I'm Courtney, one of the founders of Modern Hygiene Solutions. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial on using UVC wands to disinfect. UVC light disinfection is a proven science, but it's not foolproof. This wand is lab tested to kill 99.9% .9 of germs, only when it's used correctly. So we're gonna go over some tips for using it safely and effectively. The general information that I'm gonna share with you today is applicable to all UVC wands, but we're going to include a couple of tips about how to use this one specifically because to be honest when mine first arrived i thought it was broken i called my business partner and my co-founder susan and she explained to me how to use it so i'm going to share a couple of those tips with you but most of what we're discussing applies to uvc disinfection in general our portable uvc disinfection wand has two modes of operation it can be powered by usb or it can use batteries now when we say USB power, that means it works when it's plugged in. It doesn't charge for later use. For portable use, we have the option of batteries. Let's go ahead and start with plugging it in. I've plugged it into my computer, but you can also use a standard wall adapter as well. Before we get to disinfecting, we need to clean the surfaces that we are going to disinfect. So today we're gonna look at a remote control and a keyboard. And I'm just gonna wipe them down with a very lightly damp cloth. You could also use a dry microfiber cloth or even a paper towel, anything to go ahead and get up the dirt and grime because UVC radiation does not penetrate through dirt and, and grime. You wanna go ahead and remove all of that from the surface of the object and then the UVC light can effectively disinfect. Before turning on your UVC wand, place the object down on a surface. Never hold an object while you disinfect it. UVC rays can burn the skin. Repeated exposure can lead to permanent skin damage by holding it facing down to prevent accidental exposure to the eyes. Now we've done an entire vlog on UVC safety and for anybody who's gonna use it, I recommend you read that as well. But just know that it can be used very safely. This wand has a great safety feature in that if you turn it up, it will automatically turn off. When you wanna check that it's working, you'll see that it flickers. Facing down, hold the button for three seconds, and then you will see that it comes on. And you can tell it has come on because you'll see a blue light on the side of the unit. And you'll also be able to see the reflection of blue light on a surface. The light that you see will be fairly dim. The blue or purple light is added so that you can see that it is turned on and also to prevent accidental exposure. So don't think that because the light is dim, you aren't getting enough UVC light. You are, you just can't see it. Now, the effective area is about the size of the head of the wand. For our first one, we're gonna look at a remote control. It's about the same size. So all we have to do, hold it over the remote control for 10 seconds on each side. You wanna hold it particularly closely. The 10 second effectiveness is based on it being very near the object it is disinfecting. If you were to hold it up here, it's still working, but it's working much more slowly. So we wanna hold it right here and get the maximum sterilization benefit in just 10 seconds. Don't forget, we need to flip it over. For larger objects, we wanna remember that effective window. And in this case, is a about the width of two wands. Here we want to get 10 seconds exposure across the entire thing, but we're not going to hold it. So here we're going to do five slow passes along the top half and along the bottom half. And if you're like me, you want to take this with you when you're traveling. In that case, instead of the USB operation, we have the battery operation. Insert four AAA batteries. From there, none of the instructions change. The use on battery versus USB cable is exactly the same. The only thing is I warn you to turn it off when you're done because if not, it will remain on and you will use up your batteries. But if you turn it off when you're done, you'll get about three hours of operation on battery power. Thank you so much for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions, please let us know and we will be glad to answer them.